Hi guys, and welcome to a brand new video. If you're trying to figure out business manager or trying to set up your account so that you're able to run your business, you know, making ads for other clients, well, all you need to do is watch this video. By the time you're done, you'll be able to set up your business manager and start getting that money from those clients. So if that's what you wanna see, it's coming up right now. Okay, so to start, you're gonna wanna go to Business Manager for Facebook. So uh, I'm already here, but you can type in uh, Facebook Business Manager, and it will bring you to this link. You click that link, you get to where I am right now. So I have an account, uh, I'll log in, but to show you where you'd go, uh, you go right over here to the right, you hit create account. And to start, you're gonna use, you know, you're gonna fill in your business uh, name, uh, your name, your business email. So I'm just gonna go through it and do it like you. So software, use your guide, my name, business email, Hit next, you're gonna put your details in. Of course, <laughs> uh, you have an address, so you're gonna put that info in. If you have your website, you put it here. And then hit submit. And I'm not gonna hit submit, I already have a business manager, but for you, that's the process of starting. So we're gonna jump right into what you need to do to have your profile ready to run ads for your clients. So once you've created your profile, you hit submit, it brings you here to your profile was created, you're gonna have to confirm, I'm gonna cut, confirm, and then get right back to it. So we're back, I'm in. This is a brand new account. So everything I do is basically gonna be new. There's no clients in here, nothing. So this is exactly where you'd be starting off. So this is a great point to begin. So there's just some things that you need to know going in. Uh, of course, I'm just gonna show you what to do. I'm not gonna request anything from my clients, but at least you'll know the steps that you need to take to get your account up and ready to run your business. So we're gonna start here, business manager. And you'll notice that there are six shortcuts here already. And these things make life so easy. Uh, honestly, I don't use anything else but these six things. So the first one is events manager. Uh, then there's ads manager, business settings, attribution, ads, reporting, and account quality. Now these are my babies. These are where I, I spend most of my time. Uh, so just to give you an overview of what these are, let me start with events manager. I'm gonna focus on those three. This is where all your pixels is where you're gonna find them. And honestly, sometimes it, these might be annoying, but if you have the time, go through the mini wizards that you get when Facebook uh, starts up and um, ask you to you know learn how to use something honestly these work very well so right here if i create a pixel this is where i would find it now of course again it's new no data is here so this is where you'd go to create your pixel so facebook has kind of changed this layout a little bit it's even a little bit new to me but uh, we're going to start here at connect data source uh, to start you hit web it was already there. Then hit Facebook pixel, hit connect. You name your pixel and then you'd go through the steps of, uh, well, I'm not working with a website, but you would name your pixel, you would create this pixel, and then you're able to add this to your website. I have a video on that. Uh, you're gonna see a link to go. So if you're trying to set up your pixel, I 
broken that down so i won't do it here but at least you'll know in events manager this is where you're going to find your data on your pixel this is where you're able to create your pixel and you're even able to create ads so you can start your ads here you create your custom audiences here your lookalike audience here and custom conversion so everything that you need is right here in that first tab so we go back home And now we're going to go to ads manager and this is where you're going to spend most of your time if you're running ads for your clients so there's nothing here i have no pages no one is connected to me just yet no alerts nothing so when you start to you know add your clients add your assets add pages this is where everything will show up so uh, your ad account will show up here pages um and to start uh, we're going to go into business settings. Okay. So now that you're in business settings, this is where you're going to set up your business manager for your client. Uh, you want to do certain things like, um, my strategy or my process is the assets already exist so more than likely your client already has their own facebook page they already have their own ad accounts maybe they've tried to create a pixel it probably does exist it's, it's on their website but because you're not running ads for them you need access to all of that you don't need to recreate the wheel you just need them to give you permission to use it and this is where you're going to do that right here in business manager so one of the first things i'd say you need to set up is go to partners and you're gonna request assets from your partner. So here's where you're gonna put the detail of your client. So their contact name, their contact email, and their Facebook ID. So this works if the client already has a business manager set up, you're able to just get their Facebook uh, business ID and then boom, it's, it's created. On the partner, on the uh, the client side, you they can set this up where they make you their partner, and uh, they'll put the business manager ID info in that you already have, which in some cases is you know much easier. So uh, one of the main things though is then when you're choosing, um, well, when you're doing your business role you are the media agency, right? So you're the one that's managing the business for them. So you want to uh, uh, first make them partners. Next, pages. Now you're going to want to request access to a page. This is assuming uh, that the client does not, I mean, sorry, assuming that the client has a Facebook page, you would hit request. Uh, you want to add the page uh, so you can bring it in. Uh, maybe your client doesn't have a Facebook page and you're starting way from the bottom. Then you would create it. Uh, you'd follow the steps and then you would have access to the page. Uh, more than likely, it, it's the same thing. They're going to get a uh, notification in their business manager on their Facebook page that you are requesting to have access to their, um, their assets. Uh, next, add account. You're, wanna, you're gonna wanna go in here as well and request access to their ad account. Now the client needs to have an ad account for themselves. This is something that they would have created if they had run ads before or someone else would have run ads for them. Uh, I can go into my business manager and I'll show you, but I want to show you from a clean perspective where you're gonna go, what you're gonna need to do. Um, so if, if it's created, uh, if it's already there, then it, this is where you're gonna do it. You can also create a new ad account here. And um, one of the things I, I suggest is that the client has their own business manager, let them create their assets, and then you request access to everything just because um, it's theirs, it's their property. You know, they own it, let's keep it that way. You're just there to run ads for them. And if you should, you know, for some reason part ways, they can remove permissions and it's back to them. So what I'm gonna do, is going to my business manager and kind of show you uh, what some of that looks like, some of that real life data. So now I'm in my business manager and you might be in a position where your client doesn't have all this stuff set up. 
So you're basically, I, I'd suggest I use my screen recorder to help uh, clients go through stuff because video is so much easier. Uh, but just to show you what to show them. Uh, when, uh, when you're in a position where they need to make something, uh, you send them to the business manager, they create their account just like we did at the beginning. Everyone does it the same way. You hit business settings. Uh, you're going to want them to add you here under partners. I'd suggest partners. They'll add you and they'll give uh, access to you, right? Then they go to pages and let's say, you know, this is their page. They're going to be able to add people and that would be you. So that would be after they uh, um, made you a partner. You would, t you would show up when add people is suggested. So you'd be here in the names. And then one of the key things I wanted to show you is that when you're asking them to give you access, make sure that they give you manage page or admin access. Always, 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 always admin access. So I'd select myself and hit assign. And then, so this is the client doing it. And then add accounts, it's the same thing. They can add you, they can assign you as a partner. Either way, you're gonna have access to it. Um, so it's the same thing. Uh, if we're gonna use assigned partner here, you would share your business ID that you have from your business manager with that client. They would put it in and continue. And um, so they would put that in um, right here. So. So they could, you know, add you as a person or assign you. So assigning you as a partner means using your business ID. They would put your business ID here. And again, admin access, always, always admin access. Uh, my partner ID would have to be here. And then you hit next, continue to steps and you would have access. Um, if you're interested in payments, I've done a whole video on that just to allow you or show you how to get clients to set up payments so that they're able to uh, pay for their ads from their own pocket from the start. Um, and honestly, that's really it, what I wanna cover right now in Business Manager. Um, everything else uh, obviously has its own place, but I believe that I focused on the things that you need to do to set up um, your Business Manager. Going into ads, going into the pixel, um, those are things that would have to be covered in a completely different video. I do have a video on a pixel, so check that out. Um, ads are coming. Um, and at least this way, you'll have access to their assets, to their pages, and to their accounts. And if they don't have it, you're able to create the accounts for them, or you can let them create it and then, of course, give you um, access. So I hope this video helped. Uh, business manager is fun. It's great. And if you learn it and get it right, you can definitely make your own business by knowing this. So as usual, I'm going to ask you if you like my content, please, 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 please subscribe. It goes a long way in, uh, you know, pushing me and motivating me to make more of these videos. And if there's something that you like, uh, please, I've gotten comments where people are saying to do something I'm willing to do or learn whatever it is, uh, that you want to see. And uh, thanks again. If you love what you see, please subscribe. And I can't end without saying thanks for watching.